Back to the show, Talk With Your Doc, with me, Sarah, Sarah Miller, and we are talking about diet and health. And Sarah, you were mentioning before the break about uh, source of protein, and you mentioned that uh, having vegetable or vegetarian source of proteins like lentils or nuts, uh, it is much more healthier than the and protein source from the animals like mm -hmm. and it reduces the risk of cancer as well and many other diseases. It can, yes. So, uh, we can have a one, uh, one serving of nuts instead of having a serving of beef probably then to keep ourselves healthy and happy. Yeah, it's about really looking at the context of the diet overall and how much, how many portions you're having. So, reducing, it, it's really about balance, yes. um, finding a balance of, of both kinds. Right. Now tell us about the carbohydrates. Uh, what are the good sources of carbohydrates? Are there good carbohydrates, bad carbohydrates? Sure, sure. Poor carbohydrates really have a bad name. Um, over the last few years, they've been what I call villainized in, yeah. our, in our culture, right? Uh, where carbohydrate is essential for good health. It is the main source of energy to our brain and central nervous system. Um, and so it's really essential to be, uh, you know, incorporating a source, regular sources of carbohydrate. But you're right, there are, you know, there are healthier sources of carbohydrate and not so healthier sources of carbohydrate. Um, and unfortunately, our diet um, in our society has increased in the amount of refined or processed type of carbohydrates, basically sugar that is added to a lot of the foods and beverages that we consume because it helps to make food more convenient, but still tastes good. Um, and we sort of get hooked on that sugar. Healthy sources of carbohydrate are, are what we want to think of as complex sources. Um, so not necessarily as easily digestible things like whole grains, fruits, uh, vegetables, of course, again, pulses and lentils and legumes are examples of sources of sort of high fiber and complex carbohydrates. So, uh, ca good carbohydrate, I understand, is any carbohydrate or any sugar right. which comes with the fiber. That's right. Right? Like, so eating a fruit is better than drinking a fruit juice, probably. That's right. Right? That's so, right. So, what happens? Why we call it as a good, why the carbohydrate with the fiber is good? Just because uh, it elevates our sugar slowly or That's how does right. it have? And so exactly what you talked about, the more refined a carbohydrate, the more it, that bran has been stripped away from the, from the component of the carbohydrate. And so the less refined um, usually means that it has higher fiber, um, which generally means a lower rise in our blood sugar. Um, so we talked earlier about portion sizes and if we eat a large portion, say of uh, carbohydrate based foods, our blood sugars go up higher. Um, and, and then come down quicker typically. When we're including foods that are uh, more uh, whole grain or intact like fruit and vegetable, our body has to digest that a lot slower. So the rise in blood sugar is much slower um, and takes longer to come down, which typically means that we're more satisfied um, between meal to meal. So that's the importance of including those types of foods. So one of the concepts now uh, coming up is the glycemic index of the food you know mm -hmm. and somebody was mentioning that you should eat the food which has low gi index to right. keep your watch your weight right can you explain us about this sure. gi or glycemic index so glycemic index is a ranking of a carbohydrate based foods ability to or how quickly it causes a, a sh rise in the sugar um, what it doesn't account for is the amount of actual carbohydrate in the food. It usually is related to the fiber content uh, and, the, and again that digestion of the sugar. Foods that are very low in GI are things like meats and dairy, anything with protein and fat. Um, and we think of high GI foods as being more of the refined type carbohydrates. So, uh, high uh, glycemic index foods would be things like short grain white rice, rice cakes, uh, white bread, um, baker style russet potatoes, things like that. Low GI foods alternatives to those would be um, basmati rice or, or uh, whole grain brown rice, uh, whole grain crackers like uh, rivitas or stone wheat thins, 100% whole grain breads or pumpernickel, those darker type of breads are what we would see as lower GI index foods. Uh, pulses and legumes are also examples of low GI. So when we go to buy, say, cereals, uh, mm. you know, in the shelf right. uh, at the uh, at the shopping store, what should we looking for? 
you should be looking for 100% whole grain, or it won't say 100%, but it'll say whole grain Ooh. in the ingredient list. Um, cereals are a really good example because many cereals, there's lots of cereals out there, but many cereals are very refined. Something as simple as Rice Krispies, even bran flakes are considered to be a high GI food. Lower GI cereal alternatives would be things like bran buds, which have a source of psyllium or soluble fiber. Oat bran or oatmeal mm -hmm. are uh, alternatives to those higher GI type cereals. So they say hot cereals are better than the cold ones. Right. It? So we should make fresh cereals. Exactly. Cooked oatmeal, yes. uh, cream of wheat even, those types of whole, whole grain cereals are going to be lower GI index. So there is a new concept about nuts in the weight management. You know, mm -hmm. When I was young, I was told that not to eat nuts. Mm -hmm. But now people are saying that nuts are good for your health. Right. And they help you to reduce the weight. Can you explain us a little bit about it? So in terms of health, nuts also fall into that cardioprotective um, aspect that we were talking about with lentils because of the plant sterols. It's got low, naturally low in sodium, uh, uh, high in unsaturated type fat. It's also high in protein. So nuts can be very satisfying when used as a snack. What you need to be careful with nuts is that because they're high in dietary fat, and I talked about the, the similar uh, calories in saturated and unsaturated fat, um, nuts are very high in calorie. Mm. And it, they also can be a food that we can tend to overeat. So the recommendation is not to exceed about 30 to 45 grams of nuts in a day, which is about an ounce to an ounce and a half. I brought an example of that right here. So it's a very small amount of nuts. Oh, this, that's just fill the palm. Just filling the palm of my hand, where oh. often we hear of a patient, you know, eating that as a snack right out of the tin, could be up to a cup or two of nuts or seeds. Another thing I hear a lot is sunflower seeds. Mm -hmm. People are consuming a large quantity or portion of sunflower seeds. That's very calorie rich and is not mm -hmm. going to help you maintain your weight. So which are the good nuts, which are the bad nuts? Nuts are all generally the same in terms of their calorie content and their, their nutrient profile, uh, if you will, in terms of the type of unsaturated fat. Some of the lower calorie nuts are things like peanuts and almonds, um, and some of the higher calorie nuts are things like walnuts and macadamia nuts. Not to say that you shouldn't enjoy those, uh, but they are on the higher end. But just eat full of palm, not, not more than What's that. important is the portion size. Yes, portion size. So take home message from today's discussion is that we should divide our meals, frequent meals uh, over the period of every four, year, four hours mm -hmm. and uh, make sure that we watch carbohydrate calorie contents and the protein calorie contents and the fat calorie contents. Right. So you said protein is 20%, 30% is carbohydrate and 50% is the f fat. 50% <laughs> carbohydrate, 20% protein, 30% 30 fat. fat right. Yes, for general recommendation general of protein. overall calories. Right. But Thank portion sizes are really important. Yes, not to eat too much at the same time. Yes. Thank you, Sarah, for the show. Coming You're for very the show. Welcome. Really appreciate Anytime. it. Anytime. Thank you, everyone.